What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we got a little bit different video than what we've been having today. We're going to be doing another how-to video. It's been a little bit since we did a how-to video and I actually like doing how-to videos and I'm sure you guys are going to like this video. And I think this is going to come in handy for y'all videos and help you guys out too. So if you was ever wondering how to take any video background, like make this girl... See how right now she's going through like, you know, it looks like a sidewalk in Florida or something with all these palm trees. Say we want to keep her, but put the background, anything else, you know, like anything else back here. So that's what I'm going to show you guys how to do today. So the first thing you're going to want to do is, of course, figure out, you know, what two videos you want, like what video you want to do it with. And then what's the background? This is going to be our background. This is what we're going to put as the background on ours. To do this, you're going to want to put the new background first on the top. You see how you have, you see right here they have the video, and then right under it they have the uh, audio to the video, and then you have another slot here and another slot here that you can do the same thing. Okay, so you take this one that you want your background to be, and you put that one at the top. Then you take the original video that you want to change the background to, and you drag this one down under it, just like that. And then you're going to want to go to the video that you want to change the background. So now once you have your video set up how you want, you got the background that you're going to put on your video at the top. And you have the main video that you're trying to change the background to on the bottom. So then you're going to want to click the one that you want to change the background to, the one on the bottom. Then you want to go up to here where it says fix slash enhance. And then you'll see color director at the top. Now you have to have the other little software that comes along with all the power director things and it's called color director it's very cool and people will be able to do some crazy stuff with this editor but you want to open up color director and then you're going to see this screen here so then you're going to want to look where it says regional adjustment adjustment tools and then you're going to want to click this uh the brush okay See right here, you can pick how much, how big of the brush you got and how the, all that stuff. You got the eraser and you got all this stuff, which we won't really need to mess with none of this right now. You want to focus on the brush. And once you got your brush and the size of what you need, you're going to want to just color in whatever you want to keep. You see how it's, it even kind of auto does it for you. And we're not going to do it completely perfect because I'll show you guys it's gonna it takes some time to get all this perfect but we're gonna get it pretty good for you guys so i can show you exactly what to do and how to do it but i'm gonna show you how to do it perfectly too okay so whenever this little thing comes up you can hit don't show again or just hit okay it don't really matter but see how we missing some right here so now we're going to click the eraser and erase some Just get it as close to her skin as possible because all that's going to make a big difference whenever we change the background. And you guys will see that coming up. Okay, and then see, you also want to try to get this stuff in the middle where her arm is and stuff when she's skating. Go back to my brush and try to fix her hand a little bit. This part is time consuming, guys. It, could, it takes a long time to get everything right, but it, it, this definitely works, and it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. So let me put a little bit more right here, and then that'll work for me to show you guys what we're talking about and how it works. So once you have all that done, and you have everything colored in like you want it, and that's what you want to keep. See, we're not even going to have her on the skateboard no more. We're taking her even off the skateboard. So whatever you have what you want to keep, and it looks like that, then you want to come over here to this little box right here, and it says invert mask, so you want to click that, and that's going to pretty much do the opposite of everything that you just did, but it makes it a lot easier than having, it makes it a lot easier than having to go around all this stuff, you know, and make everything perfect. So now we can see where we need to color in a little bit more too, so let's try to do that. And once you have it how you need it to be again, after you see them little adjustments you got to do, then you're going to want to come down here to this little circle with the play button that says start motion tracking. And you want to start the motion tracking. 
And it's what this is doing is keeping, like, see how it's going along where the hair, it's trying to keep everything where you want it to be while she's moving. So everything's, like, tight together, you know, and it don't look like what I'm about to show you. You see how right here you can see, like, the buildings and stuff? So this is where the time-consuming part comes in because to get everything to look right and how you want it, you need to see right here how you can go by each frame. You can go frame by frame. So you have to go by each frame that's the, of your video. And you see right here, it looks pretty good. Like there wouldn't be much going on around it. But then you go one frame over and you got all this to fix again. So then you'd have to go to your brush, color in all this again. After you get that right, you know, you'd have to go another frame over and then you see you got more to do. So you do the same thing again. I'm going to do this just kind of fast now because I'm sure you guys are pretty much getting the idea of what you got to do. You just got to keep doing this each frame, every single frame, keep doing it and getting it as close to her legs and like whatever the object is that you're doing every single frame that way when you play it back it'll look right but we don't have to do all that for the video because you guys see what i'm talking about and after you did every frame like that see how you can see the little spaces that we'd have to fix after you did every little frame like that and you got it how you want then there was another way of doing this and it was a little more complicated and then i found this easier way and it's just like white in plain sight which is cool so then you come down here to the bottom over here and then you click green slash blue screen maker. Okay. Then you can hit screen color. You can change it to either one that you want. I always do green. So you see how now she's got a straight a whole green screen behind her. And you see how they got these gaps right here. Whenever you guys go through each frame like I was telling you and color back in, you know, every frame up in here it'll take all this little gap out it just is super time consuming and i don't think we need to do all that just to show you guys how to do it you know you guys understand and then you can do that on your video and you'll see what i'm talking about because it takes a lot of time but it's very cool whenever you get done with it. so once you got your green screen made like that then you want to just click back up here at the top right under edit now you have your vision your video right here, which was originally this, but now we've turned it to this. And then you want to come up to the same video that we just put the green screen on like this. And then you want to click it. And then you want to go over to Tools. You want to click Pip Designer. And then you should see Properties right under File. Then you want to look in the Properties tab and scroll down. Keep scrolling down until you see something called Chroma Key. It should look just like this. You want to check the chroma key box and then click this little eyedropper thing. And then you come over here and then all you got to do is click the color that you want. And since everything's green, it won't be that hard. So you click that and then with that video already being at the top, it puts the background behind there for you. So then you just click OK. And then you have your video done. And then you could, you could watch it. coming around and like whenever you sit there and do every single frame right this green and stuff won't be around here okay that just is i know i've been saying this but that to get all that out is you got to sit there and do each frame frame by frame and it just takes a long time but it will come out when you do it the right way all the way you know but yeah, i hope you guys enjoyed the video on how to change the background on any video Without using the green screen, don't forget to like, comment, and smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.